Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Before Japandi, I'm gonna give you an end of the year 2018 update on my trip back to Japan in 2019. Let's get on with the updates here. So the main update as far as it relates to my return to Japan in 2019 is that I've officially applied to the school that I want to go to out in Tokyo. Now, the reason that it's taken me so long to actually officially submit my uh, application is it does cost a lot of money to apply to the college that I want to, but it doesn't cost money to initially apply. It just costs money once your application has been accepted. The thing is they usually require the payment like immediately. So I just wanted to make sure that my uh, savings was in order and that I had the money on hand. So if they give me the go ahead, I can just give them the money and then we can continue on with the application process, including visa application and things like that. So that way there's no holdups or anything like that on my end at least. So that's where it stands right now. As far as the next goal is um, I'm gonna be submitting some more paperwork for the application process. Thing is uh, it's currently winter break here in America. So all the high schools and colleges and stuff are closed. So I'm not able to submit any kind of transcripts until they reopen. But uh, with my high school though, I was able to submit my transcripts to them because they go through a third party service. So I was able to just submit some paperwork online and then just send it out. But I do need proof of graduation because the school that I'm applying to in Japan requires that I have either a copy of my diploma or basically like a letter called like a proof of graduation, basically saying, yeah, so-and-so graduated on so-and-so date and signed by principal, secretary, whoever. Uh, that's where I stand as of now, at the time of this recording. Next goal after that is gonna be to continue to save up for my return to Japan. So main thing is plane ticket money. It's gonna cost about 1,000, maybe 1,100 USD to uh, get me from here in North Carolina out to Tokyo, Japan. And in addition to the plane ticket money, I'm also gonna be saving up for living expenses until the GI Bill kicks in. Now usually, the GI Bill usually kicks in as far as uh, house payments and things like that about a month after you start school. So you do need a little bit of savings or like a job or something to rely on until it kicks in. Now sometimes, especially with international stuff, it may take a little bit longer, so it's always good to have a very solid uh, savings. Uh, just in case there's delays in payments, whether it's initial payments or subsequent payments down the line. Little tippy tip from the Andy San Samadeshta. Now I am doing freelance work. I'm also selling a lot of my stuff on eBay. And I just recently got picked up for a new uh, work at home job. So I'm currently submitting paperwork for that. So that's kind of been my life for the past couple weeks now. It's just paperwork and getting documents lined up and just all this stuff. But again, it's part of the process. And I realized that if I want to get back out to Japan, got to play the game. So yeah, that's basically where things stand uh, currently. I'll be sure to give you guys more updates as things roll on. But uh, as far as new stuff for Andy Before Japandi, I uh, just wrote down a whole bunch of different ideas, got some ideas from friends. Uh, so I'm looking forward to making new episodes of Andy Before Japandi uh, very soon. And I can't wait to continue on with this series to document my return to Japan. So with that said, guys, this is the Andy sign. Signing for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.